What is going on, everybody? We are back with another episode today of 1.6.4 modded Minecraft. Uh, uh, we are, we just woke up in our bed and, uh, and it pushes through the walls. So we'll have to move where that is. Okay. You know what? Did that the best way we could have. Um, I'm sure you saw a little bit of what was going on there and you might be kind of confused on what is happening and when some of this happened. Let me put the bed in a better location. You also see that there's some, some, uh, snow in here. We'll get to why that exists here in just a moment as well. Um, hello. Can I ask what you're doing out there? Good, sir. Put that there. Hopefully that's a better location. All right. So we should be good. So as you can see, I'm sure, um, the framing and the roof are done. Um, we did this on stream the other day. If you did miss that, there should be a VOD uh, that went up not only on YouTube, but is also available on Twitch if you'd like to view that. Um, it was just something we decided that we were going to do over there and kind of knock it all out in one stream. It took about two and a half hours, so it would have been like quite a few videos. Um, but this currently is what we have. And actually, let me... Uh, going to creative, and I'm just going to take you on a, a quick trip around to start this out, and we'll go from there. So, uh, this is the front side of the house. As you can see, we've got, like, the basement, uh, floor down here, our middle floor, our top floor, and then from here up is the attic. Um, currently not accessible. It is full of torches. Um, at some point, we'll probably, we'll probably make that another floor as well or something. Um, I have a couple ideas for some stuff I might want to do up there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is what the side looks like. Um, again, it's just got that little bit of framing. Um, I probably should put some more stuff down here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. It should be pretty much good to go. Um, and then the same kind of thing on this side. I, I do think I want to have like, what is this? One, two, three. One, two, three. I do kind of think I want to put some, some more logs in there. Um, if you're... Curious how the roof works. It's all stairs. And it starts out, you take a, you go a little bit away from the roof and you go a stair normal way and then a stair upside down behind it. And then on top of that stair, you do a, a normal stair and then a stair upside down behind it. And you keep doing that all the way up to the top. And that has um, uh, slabs. So kind of, a, kind of an interesting way. That was just how we decided to do it. And then the back um, looks exactly the same. Um, you can kind of see we've got the, the same framing as the front for the most part. A little bit different up at the top, but nothing too crazy. And that is the house. Let me go out of creative here. That was all done in um, in non-creative, I guess I want to call it. I'm not sure what. In, uh, in survival, um, which is why it took so long. We had to keep building like weird janky staircases to get up there and stuff. And then break all of the trees down. So it should be here, just like that, and then one, two, three, cool. So, and that's that's that. It's pretty much done. Um, and we still have the balcony in there as well. It actually turns out it worked out pretty well. Uh, for the second order of business, we have snow all over the place. Um, which actually let me I'm gonna pull all this out of here. Um, and I'm gonna see. Do we have a shovel still? Got all that in there. We do not have a shovel. Um, so what ended up happening is there was a snow creeper, right? Um, if you don't know, the way that snow works is it only falls on like possible blocks, eligible blocks. So for instance, technically like like wood, eligible block, snow falls on it, it makes some snow. Stairs doesn't make snow. Uh, chests don't make snow. Doors don't make snow, you know. Um, well, what happened is we had a, probably about four ice creepers, and you can see it up there on the mini-map as well. Um, all of the little ice trails and stuff. Um, we had some ice creepers just walking around. Well, they ended up walking into our house um, that didn't have a door at the time and walking on stuff. They deleted a bunch of these stairs when they walk over them because when they make the snow, because they have a little path, that comes out of them as they walk. Uh, when they do that and they make the snow on top of the stairs, it deletes it. Um, so what happened is ended up, a couple of them got down here and they walked close enough to the chest 
that it put snow under the chest and deleted the chest. Um, thankfully, when they did that, it deleted the chest and all the content still drops out. I was not in the house when it happened. So what happened is I came in and I picked up the stuff on the ground into my inventory um, and panicked and didn't have any wood on me because it was probably sitting here on the ground. So I went out, cut down a tree to get enough wood to make another chest. Lo and behold, in that time, uh, I lost everything on the ground. It was within that five minute period where stuff despawned. Uh, so I threw what was excess into this chest. So they were like, I think the diamonds were in there. The emeralds were in this chest, but the diamonds were in that chest. Some of the seeds, a couple of these things in there. And then a couple of the extra things I put in here as well ended up in our inventory. But we lost everything else, which is fine. Um, it didn't really matter. We hadn't really done a whole ton. So losing that wasn't too big a deal. But that is what happened. So we did lose some stuff if I can't find it. That is why. So I do just kind of want to pick up some of these as snowballs. I don't love having it around. It's kind of ugly. So let me try and get a little bit of this out of here. We were going to do this on uh, on stream, and I totally forgot to just, like, clean it up. So a couple things I've done. Unfortunately, I cannot... Um, we cannot make it so they stop carrying, or they stop, like, putting down snow. Um, there's nothing I can really do about the snow part itself. And I don't know, was this them as well? Damn, they were little monsters, for sure. Um, so what I did is I just, they were one of the highest, them and Cookie Creepers uh, had a 40 spawn rate. I'm not exactly sure how that equates number wise but um i've turned snow creepers down to uh i believe it's 20 now as well as cookie creepers down to 20 so uh earth and fire creepers should be on the same same what do you call it like spawn right now and that way we just don't have to like deal with this too too much you know there's that. Let me grab the couple over here, and we're going to get that M on the other side of the house, and then hopefully we'll be kind of good to go. But now they have, like, a new level of, uh, you know, dangerousness to them, almost. So if we see an Ice Creeper, we probably have to, to nix him completely immediately. <laughs> Perfect. It looks like there's a little bit more over here. Everything else I'll try not to worry about, but I'm sure, like, if you blow the map up, I mean, you can see a bunch more areas where they've been walking. So hopefully by turning that spawn rate down, we don't have to, like, deal with that as much. Um, it looks like they've been down there as well. We do have some nice little flowers and stuff over here. Wonderful. I mean, they really just messed up everything, huh? Look, yeah, look, they cut through this tree. So he actually, like, walked close enough to this tree that it actually cut the center of it open. I never knew that worked like that, honestly. Might be in there right now. This is insane. I don't know what we're going to do with snowballs. Like, we're going to have all these extra snowballs now. This is so ridiculous. I actually cannot believe we, we used an entire shovel doing this. Alright. So that should get rid of a lot of that. Torches get rid of snow? I don't remember. I'm going to throw a couple torches here just to see. But we will call that good. Oh my god, we have a dark creeper now. We should be good here. Uh, we're just going to see all these creepers all the time. I think those ones like get rid of specifically like lights and light instruments. I forgot about in the house, dude. I've got an inventory full of snowballs. 
Weird that snowballs only stack till 16 still. I never really... I didn't remember that, I suppose, is how I'll phrase it. Kind of obnoxious, though, to be honest with you. Alright. <clears throat> and obviously, this is not exactly how I wanted to, like, start off the episode, but... I guess we'll just go in here. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. And let's just quickly get some of the stuff in the house taken care of. And maybe we'll just set up like a gentle uh, kind of fencing area around. That way we wouldn't have to deal with stuff like this. But I did want to get going on some other stuff here. I'm going to leave a bunch of these on the ground. In hopes that they'll, uh... Just go away. But we're probably ten minutes in and we've done basically nothing. Perfect. And top floor. Alright. So let's go ahead and sleep. Hopefully we don't pop outside this time. Perfect. Alright, I do just want to say, I actually have not been out here. Oh, this looks nice, dude. You need to be dead ASAP. Alright. So let's head out here. Um, I don't think I have any food on me. Which is quite unfortunate. And just toss these here. Are you kidding me? Another creeper? I don't need you getting rid of all my torches and stuff. I think it's within like a pretty huge area too. I think it's within like a 20 by 20 radius around you. It's pretty nuts. So let's put that away and let's just grab like we'll take these apples and one meat yeah i might have lost some meat in there and we'll get going here what is that oh is that just a cow just a regular cow just a standard ass cow um so i'm thinking maybe right now we'll just go down and, and try and go into a cave and, and maybe pick up a couple more resources and then uh we'll get we'll get going on some sort of farm, probably. Um, I did do a poll on Twitter of what we should work on building. Uh, and it was extremely close to the point that I reran it with just the two options. Um, and the winners were farm, barely, and then a, uh, a, a horse stable. Because while horses had not actually come out uh, in this version of Minecraft, I do have a, a horse mod. And this looks pretty much perfect. So those will be kind of the couple of things we're working on. And let me just take a little bit of wood down with us as well. God knows we'll need it all, I'm sure. Alright, good enough. Oh Jesus, I I could have been uh could have been dead there. So let's head in here. We'll just kind of mark up this area with a bunch of torches. Uh actually I think there's nothing down here. I know it's hard to see, but it's it's really just a dead end hole. Um I was hoping to just find, like, a naturally spawned cave entrance. Thank you for the seed. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like an ocean overhang with lava in it. Oh my god, I almost just sprinted into it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Kind of deadly, but pretty neat.
Hmm, I'm not sure. What direction would be easiest to go? Isn't there, there is like a water cave opening over here, I think. I think like right here, maybe. Um, hello, medium fish. I guess we'll try our hand down here. He did drop fish. We did get some, uh, coal. Which is always nice. Because Lord knows we don't have enough torches really either. Good enough. Let's just convert all of that. Now we got a couple torches. All right. Let's see. Is there even a cave here? I'll take an iron. For sure. I guess we'll just dig a little bit. Like underwater. <laughs> Might be better to kind of absorb some of this. Okay, this works. I mean, kind of, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't work as well as I would have liked, but it'll work enough. Perfect. We're making headway now. Can at least get some light minerals here, like the chrysocolla we're digging up. It's, it's something. Uh, let's put that down. All right. So I'd really like to just find a nice small cave. Who's excited for the new cave generation as well in the new update? It looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. I like when they add, like, very new stuff that, you know, it's not just like a... It's a fish, you know, when you can do a little bit with the fish and then the fish doesn't really matter anymore. This is like a new way that the game works. And I think that is very cool. Just a bit of a bit of a nothing down here, huh? We did get, because we picked up the copper, we got an achievement at least. Hmm. It's like there's just a whole ton of nothing. Okay, cave, cave sounds, always nice. Spider, also nice. I knew, I, dude, I knew I was going to break into a cave on that iron. I could feel it. I'll tell you what, let's, um, and this is probably like garbage spiders that we don't really want to fight right now, to be honest with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. Quite quite unfortunate um oh my god I... okay we're good 
it could be worse, I think. Okay, we can, uh, we can get out of this. Just gotta break one block. Perfect. <laughs> um, okay. So, I did not prepare properly, it would seem, for our journey down into this hole. So, let's get back home. We'll pick up some proper equipment. I don't know, I, I really... The whole reason I wanted to record this episode right now was just to, uh... Be like, hey, check out the new house. Here's what we did on stream. Just get, like, the YouTube side caught up. Um... And then I was like, well, we'll figure out where we go from there. But then the, the house tour took, like, ten minutes and... You know, we cleaned up some of the snow and all of that. And here we are now. So I didn't really, like, you know, I didn't get things ready in the, the way I usually would. Making sure, you know, we got enough picks and stuff like that. And I kind of just, uh, kind of just went, went balls deep into it today. I actually think some of that should have worked. Do you think that those torches got rid of some of the snow? Oh, we got another little, uh, another little something, something over here. We got a lot of things to check out for sure. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Next time, uh, next time we record, we'll go through and and do probably one of these caves. Probably this one, honestly, because it's close. And now we know that we've got a, an abandoned mine shaft that we can access at any time we want. And just see uh, what's going on in there. So that's pretty nice as well. We also got just one couple snowballs left. Look at that. Look at that. Sneak skill a thousand. Just as the sun's going down. Perfectly done. All right. So next time we come back, we will cook up some more food. I will make sure that we have an inventory that is ready to go. And I will probably have sorted everything down in those chests. The other things I want to do is I want to make doors for here and there. And anywhere else in here that might need doors. And then we'll kind of start getting a little bit of stuff set up in the house after we finish our, uh, our cave excursion down over there. Um, just simple stuff like setting up a kitchen area and, and moving things around so that they're in the correct spot, all that good stuff. So do you want to thank y'all for watching and I will see you next time.